his first time in a trials club event, mate. Any famous last words? Um, look, I'm just surprised how calm I feel. <laughs> Being keen on the cross training enduro thing, I've always been interested in the technical side of riding and with encouragement from the guys I've had a trials bike which I keep at my property and um, you know for short periods I get to and play around on obstacles and things like that but I'm really aware that you do get pushed so hard when you go to a competition with people who are experienced and so I've been keen to do that. Weekends are pretty hard for me and it's a long way out to the trials club but when I saw that they have a midweek trials event I was pretty hooked on the idea of going. Well here he goes. Now he'd be sensible here to use as much of the area as he can, which he's doing. Oh that's one. Now mate, keep your foot down for us until you get yourself sorted. Yep. You make the most of having your foot down, so bounce your front wheel and line it over, but without moving your foot. And that way, okay, well that's three. <laughs> But you, 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 when you put your foot down, yeah, make the most of it. I've already done it, so yeah. I've changed my clutch, I'm not into it. Oh. I thought he was going to go the C grade line then. Oh, nice balance. Little ledge here. He's handled that well. Now again, you see swinging wide to make the most of the area. And he's done it. Three points. He put a foot down either side of the bike, which makes it three points. Come on, Andrew. Basically, it was the first time I've ever been to any sort of trials event. The atmosphere was very laid back. The guys at the Trials Club were really laid back and I certainly didn't feel at all intimidated. I, I kind of knew that it didn't matter if you were just a hopeless rider, you were going to be welcome. And how hard it was. Look, in some ways it was really harder than I thought. It was, you know, very difficult to do some of the stuff. But it's not intimidating. The trial sections are really short. They're sometimes only maybe you know, 40, 50, 60 metres long, just a few zigzags and tight turns and little scrambles up rocky, steppy bits and things. There are different routes you can pick and we took the beginner type path. So remember mate, once you put a foot down, make the most of it. There might be 10 yeah. different sections and uh, yeah, they, they might only take 20 seconds to ride around, but you go from one to the other. Come on Andrew, show us your stuff. most of the track. No, not coming wide. Let's see if he does the C grade line. He's got the white arrow there. That's the Clubman line. Oh, managed to get a foot down in the deep gorge. Yeah. And once you've put your feet down three times, you don't accumulate any more points. Some people are very lucky I turned the camera on a bit late. <laughs> it was really interesting. Some of the things that I thought would be really hard, I didn't find that hard. I actually found myself doing stuff I didn't know I could do. You'd, be, you'd shoot up onto a sloping slab and have to turn tightly on an off-campus slab or something and I haven't done that before and, and it was a great buzz when you did it and hooked down the next bit without going outside the circuit. Other bits where you thought, I've got this, this will be easy, you just lose your balance and put a foot down. Today I think only once I got a zero pointer which is clean and uh, all the other times I lost points but yeah it's a great learning thing. Come on, oh it's a foot down, it's another foot down, he's going for the blue section. I think having been there once now um, it's got me bitten with the bug more, it's going to really motivate me to 
to practice the techniques. Another really good thing about it was having so many guys there who are experienced and can help you. And at the end, I, I had a personal coaching session of about half an hour with a really good rider who could do some amazing things. And he was happy to just be beside me and help me to learn the punch technique or the zap technique or whatever. That's how you do it. Yes, that's how you do it. Always to the left. Let me know if this distracts you. Okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, it was, was a brilliant day, a really great day out with the guys, really laid back, plenty of opportunity to go as hard as you can, and um, you can always try a harder level if you think something's too easy. But I've always wanted to have a crack at going to a trials event. Woohoo! Certainly everything I thought it would be, and, and better in the sense that it wasn't intimidating. It's nice to go to an event where it's pretty laid back and there's no criticism or pressure on you. Thank you.